Well, with the winning coach, Greg McDermott of Creighton. Thanks, Kevin. Greg, your team's coming off a nice win against Georgetown. We talked before the game. You said your kind of team, I use the word feisty, came down the stretch against Georgetown. Great carryover from both ends of the floor for you this afternoon. Uh, you know, I really thought so. I, the, the first half, while I was happy with the eight-point lead, I thought we took some ill-advised shots and really out-of-character shots for us at times. Uh, but the start of the second half, I liked where we were defensively. We went on that little run and was able to create some separation against a very good Seton Hall team. I got a little chuckle out of it when Watson picked up his... Before that one, yeah. and then overs, and you kind of raced around looking for him. What is he? Is he able for you? Well, I think somebody just told me he had 14 assists. So, I mean, he can score the basketball at the rim. Uh, he's he's learned to become a good leader on the defensive end of the floor, and and I think is finally understanding the impact he can have on that end of the floor. But you know, his vision and ability to make plays for his teammates is is as good as anybody I've ever coached. Plus, you have a nice balance not only with your back court, but your front guys are obviously very effective and efficient up front, and also you have enough shooters that spread the floor. I thought Zach Hansen gave us great minutes the first half and then a couple big offensive rebounds, and then Jeff Grozel was outstanding in the second half, and our guys did a good job getting him the basketball. And our guys pick our spot, pick their spots. We've got an unselfish group, and uh, when we move the basketball, we're a pretty efficient offensive team. Thanks for your time, and congratulations on another good win. Thank you. Okay, Kevin, back to you in the studio. All right, Jim, thanks very much. So uh, this Creighton team, boy, they had four conference wins all of last year. They've already got three, and they are, uh, without question, a different team, Jim. Well, they're a more balanced team. In the first half against the Seton Hall team, it was 18-18 points in the paint. Well, it ended up being 42-30. Mm. You talk about spreading the wealth a little bit more. Coach McDermott talked about how good they are when they share the basketball. Well, 29 made field goals off 17 assists. So you're going to get easy baskets when you're able to control the paint, get out and run, but share the pill. But these passes have to be on time and on target. And once you do that, you get high percentage shots. And we saw Creighton just pull away by kind of doing the little things, sharing the basketball, getting in the paint, and then ultimately finishing the coach. And Watson performing as well as any player right now in the Big East. 14 assists today. He was the orchestrator coming off a 27-point performance against Georgetown in their win in Omaha. So uh, really the catalyst here that's fueling this run is Watson. So then how about Seton Hall, Coach? I mean, this is a team, obviously, you come off a loss to Villanova. That's not the worst thing mm -hmm. in the world. But, but now you lose this game at home. Their defense gets shredded a little bit, and you have a ridiculously tough schedule coming up. Well, I think that's the concern if you're Kevin Willard. It's one thing if this game comes down to the wire, you lose close, you lose in overtime. Uh, we're seeing that in strong conferences throughout the country. But to get dominated, to get throttled the way they did is not what Kevin Willard wants. So it is a back to the drawing board, a uh, sense of urgency clearly for the Pirates. All right, so we've got a couple of the games in the Big East today, two of them to be exact. Why don't we check in on those and